Okay, now when can we stop talking about premium freight for components? It seems like it. Some people say, uh, it, it, you know, Gary Friedman, a very smart guy at RH, which is a fantastic store, says it's only getting worse, not better. Yeah, the, the, so, you know, the, the, over the past two years, we've seen kind of a migration of, 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 of some of the issues. Now, it started off with freight being um, the, the, the issue that we talked about, the cost that we incurred. That has moderated. It was somewhat better in Q1 than it was in Q4. Our, our you know, cost per kilo was coming down, not to what it was pre-pandemic, but it certainly was down. We, we were forecasting now that it was going to basically hold at these levels for the rest of the year. Hopefully, there's some upside to that, but that's what we're forecasting. The other part that's come in is around uh, you know, component shortages, semiconductor shortages. And we're now spending uh, a lot more money on securing uh, long lead time parts um, and having to expedite them to, to our facilities and then expediting uh, the finished goods to our customers. You know, we, we're very much trying to prioritize meeting our customers' needs and, and delivery times, and therefore we are putting uh, everything basically on air freight versus uh, putting that in a, in a container on ocean, which obviously will be much cheaper. But as, right. as we go through the year, we expect that we will get better supply and we will be able to put more things on ocean. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.